come with me as my 2025 Tesla Model 3 drives us to Starbucks, FSD style. All right, so you put your address in and then I'm gonna go ahead and start going. Oops, I gotta switch it into a drive first. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna get out of this parking lot. And then from there, we're gonna let, I don't believe in naming cars, but we named this one. Her name is Nova. So Nova is gonna get us to where we need to go. And we're gonna pray that she gets us there in one piece. All right, we came to a stop. So cool thing about Tesla, they have something called regenerative braking. So it's, already kind of stops for you whereas when you drive a gas car it kind of takes a while for you feet, to slow down turn left onto south kobayashi road in 500 feet turn left onto gulf freeway then turn left onto south kobayashi road now turn left onto gulf freeway and so with that you just let your foot off the brake and it really slows down like a lot for you and if you just like let off a brake further than where you're anticipating to stop you don't even have to touch the brake All right, so from right here, I'm gonna enact FSD. And I have to wait till I get to my turn and then it'll let me go. All right, so now I've activated FSD and she's doing all the work. So still with FSD, you yeah, still have to pay attention. So if you don't pay attention, it'll give you a warning. And if you do not adhere the warning, it'll cancel your driving experience completely and you'll have to drive yourself again. So it's still good to make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings and everything that's going on. and it'll offset the FSD mode. So that's one thing that's really cool about Tesla's FSD mode that obviously a normal gas car, they have cruise control, which is cool. I mean, that just keeps the same constant speed, but with FSD, it's literally driving you there. And also a cool thing about Tesla, it has side cameras. So it's monitoring so much at one time. And also whenever we change lanes, if you look on the screen that tells you everything about the car, it also shows you who's to the left of you, who's to the right of you, or whatever direction you're turning in. So that's one really neat feature about Tesla's that I've never seen in another car. And so with FSD, it also shows you on the screen cars that are coming beside you, cars that are behind you, in front of you. It's really monitoring everything. So even though it's kind of scary, it's still being very, very active in what's going on around you and its surroundings. So that's pretty, pretty neat. And a cool thing also, you can allow the FSD to drive the normal speed, or if you look right now, the speed limit's supposed to be 65. I have it kind of offset where it can drive a little bit above the speed. And so right now we're going 72. And I will say this, 
in my old car that I was driving, just for a point of reference, it was a 2011 Ford Fusion. So a very drastic difference compared to a 2025 car of whatever car I suppose you get. This car can get up to speed really quick, but we're going 72. It does not even feel like we're going 72. It feels like we're going like at a very nice chill speed. So like right, just right there, it was wanting to make a turn, but it saw that another car was coming. So it kind of abruptly changed its mind. It's like, oh, well, we're gonna have to wait till before we make that turn. So again, it's constantly monitoring all of its surroundings, which is pretty, pretty neat. Because as you know, when you're driving, there's a lot to pay attention to at all times. So it's pretty cool. And now that they've made cars that can help you do that without you having to do as much work at one time. But it was really neat. The other day when I was driving to work, I put my address in. I got me a cup of coffee. I was enjoying the view on the ride to work while sipping a coffee, hands off the wheel. And it was just quite an enjoyable experience. Everyone else is, I mean, I was still focusing on the road and all that good jazzy stuff, but it was nice to not have to apply so much attention to detail like you normally would have to. since that it was kind of not going as fast as we were so it was like mm, we're not gonna we're not gonna stay here we're gonna kind of move on and drive ahead of them anybody in the other turning lane but it navigated it very nicely in 500 feet bear right to stay on farm to market 2004 then turn left now bear right to stay on farm to market 2004 now turn left oh it got it got a, it got an easy job ain't much traffic going on Now your destination is on the left. All right, so it drove us to Starbucks, our beautiful Starbucks logo up there. Now we're gonna have it auto park for us because that's another feature that is given with FSD. 
So if you look, it shows up on your screen, like the places on where to park. You click it and you press start. Again, I'm just kind of making sure no one's behind us. We got someone trying to go through the drive through line. They think we're going, but we're just gonna wait for a moment. And it's just backing us in. No hands needed. All right, thank you for FSDing us our way to Starbucks. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you're interested in checking out Tesla's, you can click the link in my description for a referral code. You can get 1,000 for a Model Y or a Model 3, or you could get up to 2,000 for a Model X or S, or even a Cybertruck if you're into that. So thank you for watching. Come back for more. Until next time, doses.